10-year-old Beaverton boy is making quite the recovery after a frightening ordeal along the Oregon coast. Andy Grass suffered many internal and external injuries after a sneaker wave rolled a log onto him. Well, I sat down with the fourth grader and his parents to talk about his road to recovery and the incredible support that has poured in from around the country. You said right. Andy Grass is riding piggyback these days. His legs are still healing, but he's home, something that just a month ago seemed unlikely. So when I got there, like, you know, my stomach dropped and I, I was, I mean, I thought Andy might die. The Grass family was at Rockaway Beach Christmas Eve with friends when Andy and his brothers ran ahead. That was when a sneaker wave hit and the boys tried to jump on a log to avoid it. Andy unfortunately fell the wrong way and the log rolled over him. Both his lungs collapsed, his liver was lacerated and he had broken bones all over his body. It's kind of scary, the, the pictures with like the red stuff like over my eyes. It's kind of scary. In the moments before doctors sedated Andy, he asked his dad what his large Christmas present was under the tree. When he woke up two weeks later at Dornbecker, it came up again. And, and he was like, I, I remember. And he's like, the only reason I asked that question is because I thought I was dying. You sad when you remember that? Yeah, that was sad, huh? So that was, you know, kind of, that was a, a, a tender moment in the hospital there. That present was a papa shot. While the young basketball and baseball player was making strides off the court and the field, his family was receiving enormous support. I didn't expect it to explode to the extent that it did. A Facebook campaign called Grass Strong started, and Andy's school and teammates rallied around him. And he started getting signed sports memorabilia from some well known athletes like Marshawn Lynch and Russell Wilson. Also, a hospital visit from Beaverton native and LA Dodgers player Darwin Barney. Are you a big Dodgers fan now? No. No. <laughs> And he's now back at school as much as possible. My teacher, she's um, helping me, and she is being really flexible. A flexible teacher and what started as a grassroots effort that has grown to grass strong. Yeah, by the way, his favorite baseball team, the Seattle Mariners, of course. Andy's family so grateful for all the support they have received, and they want to thank Dornbecker for everything the doctors and the nurses did. They are having the Play Fit Fun fundraiser for the hospital this Sunday. It's happening at Sexton Mountain Elementary. You can go to coin.com for all the details, but he is just such an amazing kid. He's like a 35-year-old in a 10-year-old's body. I mean, he was just, he was so just wise and, yeah. and articulate. Yeah, well-spoken, yeah, for yeah. sure. So we're all wishing him the, the best and uh, staying grass strong. Yeah, and he's not a Dodgers fan, so he gets extra points in my book, too. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. What a good kid. You're watching.